all right hello everyone in this video i will be showing you how to install and run yolo darknet for object detection on windows 10 so for this uh, first we'll need to have git installed on our computer so go to google and type git go to this first website git-scm and click on download for windows Now click on the downloaded file. Next, next. Okay, over here, as you can see, um, we have git bash and git GUI. I like to use both, so I will choose both. You can do the same. Add it to the desktop. Next, next. Okay, next. Now for this I'd like you to choose the third option use git and optional unix tools from the command prompt so click on this and click on next this is fine this is fine next and click on install okay so now the git has been installed click on finish and open a command prompt Run this as administrator. Make sure you always run this as administrator. Okay, so to check if Git has been installed or not, just type Git. And as you can see, Git has been installed. Okay, so next we need to use a few Unix commands on Windows command prompt. So for that, we'll need a software called Sigwin. Go to sigwin.com. I'll just google it now install the software i have 64 bit installation so i will download the 64 bit version once the download is complete click on the link click on next install from internet choose the root directory next next use system proxy settings next uh, over here you can choose any site you like i'll just choose the first one and click on next okay so now we have to install a few packages for yellow darknet to work so the first package i'd like you to install is called the make package under development this devel Choose this one, make the GNU version of the make utility. For this, click on the arrow and choose the latest version. Okay, then the next package that we need to install is SSH under net. Just click on this arrow in front of default. Click on install. Now this will automatically choose the latest versions for all these packages. So the next package that we need is SSL under Python. Again, click choose install and this will automatically choose the latest versions for all these three packages. The next package that we want is GCC core under development gcc core gnu compiler collection c open mp choose the latest version now for linux you can install a few other packages like scp ftp or open ssl but for this video these packages are enough now you can download a few editors too like nano but I like VIM, so I will download the VIM editor. VIM, VI Improved Enhanced VI Editor. Now we have selected all the packages, so just click on Next and Next. Now this is gonna take some time, so I'll just skip right ahead. 
Okay, so now the setup is complete. We have installed Sigwin. So click on next, create icon on desktop and add icon to start menu and then click on finish. Okay, so let's go and change the directory to the C drive where we will install the darknet. Okay. Okay, so after the Sigwin is installed, the next thing we have to install is the darknet. For that, we'll have to go to this website, github.com slash lxeab slash darknet. Scroll down below and click on clone or download. Copy this link. And go to the command prompt and type git clone and paste the link. Now this will clone the darknet git into your C drive. Okay, so now it's done. Now As you can see, uh, we have the darknet folder installed in the C drive. So now the next thing you have to do is go to this website, pjready.com slash darknet slash YOLO. Now scroll down below to the section where it says detection using a pre-trained model. Now over here you can see some commands. Now we can skip this first one as we've already cloned darknet so next is change directory to darknet and then we have to type make uh, this may take, take some time okay so it's done now the next thing to do you will have to download the pre-trained file just click on this download the wait file i have already downloaded it also you'll have to download a few other wait files from this website go to the first link scroll down below under pre-trained models you can see all these are wait files click on each of these links and download the wait files i have already downloaded them just copy all these wait files and paste them in the root darknet folder. Paste them over here. Okay, so now we are ready for the predictions. Now the next command. You can skip this command. This is just to download the weights. We have already done that. Now to run the detector. This is the command that we will use. This is for Linux. Uh, we'll have to do a slight change for Windows. Just change the dot slash darknet to darknet.exe. Okay, so now the predictions are being done. And this will save the predicted file in a file called as predictions.jpg. Let's wait for it. Okay, so it was predicted in 11 seconds and it was saved to predictions.png. Let's go over to the darknet folder. Let's see, we did predictions on dog.jpg file uh, on this one. So let's see what the predictions are. Okay, so as you can see, this has successfully identified all the objects in the picture. So this is how YOLO darknet works. Uh, we can also use another sample for object detection. Let's look at another sample. Eagle. Uh, let's use yes. Let's use this file person.jpg. Again, go back to the command prompt. Use the same command and change this doc.jpg to person.jpg okay so let's see 
and look at the predictions file okay so it is done and yes again this has successfully identified all the objects in this picture as well so okay thank you everyone if you like this video please click on the like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel i'll see you on the next video